Welcome to Dice Station Zebra. Today we are playing the Thunderbirds board game by Modifius Entertainment. This is what the box looks like. And my name is Rob. And I'm Jocelyn. And today we're going to have a playthrough of this game in honor of Jerry Anderson Day, which is April 14th, 2021. I believe it's the inaugural Jerry Anderson Day. Is it? That they have devised. And um, yeah, this is a great game. Um, we've played this many times. Uh, I love the Thunderbirds. I think they're really cool. It's an old show from the 60s. If nobody is familiar with it, do some Googling. Maybe check it out on YouTube. Like me. Find some clips. And uh, they had a couple movies, too, from the 60s. I have seen some Thunderbirds because Rob showed it to me. That is correct. But prior to that, I had never heard of this. So this is the game box. And here is the game board. And what we have is a, that's a map of the world. And if nobody's familiar with the Thunderbirds, which if you're from the UK, you probably know what the Thunderbirds are. If you're not, what it is, is it's, um, it's a, it's a, it's a, the story is based on a family, the Tracy family. And it's a father and a bunch of brothers. And they have uh, this little island out here in the South Pacific and it's called they have run an organization called international rescue and they have a token woman they do they have a secret agent woman named lady penelope and she helps them now there's a villain there's a villain he's called the hood and he's a bad dude and he is represented in this game by this little purple figure guy and he always tries to you know steal their secrets because they have these high technology machines and whatnot um, actually i'll show you the box front again so these are their rescue vehicles this is their little space station um, and here are some of their rescue vehicles and there's lady penelope's car so anyway they race around the world trying to save people from disasters and accidents and things like this and sometimes it's because of the villain named the hood who sets up schemes and plots and uh, sabotage and things like that mm -hmm. So anyway, that is the premise of what the Thunderbirds is, if you're not familiar with the Thunderbirds. So in the game, this is a cooperative game. We have a map of the world, and basically we're going to have a series of disasters that pop up around the board. We're going to have to race around to uh, resolve those um, disasters in a, in a timely fashion. But the ultimate goal of the game is we have to defeat the Hood's evil scheme. Now we have these purple cards up the top here, um, which are hard to see in the camera shot, but we have these scheme cards. So there's scheme number one, and we haven't seen these yet. No, everything is uh, blind. Scheme two, um, and scheme number three. So we have to we have to uh, defeat three all three of these schemes in order to win the game. Before and the hood gets here. That's right. So the hood will advance through the game. He will move up to these spots. Um, when he moves to here, this event card will be revealed and so on. And we have to resolve all the schemes before the hood gets to the last hood spot. Yeah. Um, and we play cooperatively. So we're, Jocelyn and I are not playing against each other. We are playing together to defeat the, the hood. Yeah. So, Jocelyn, can you tell us um, from the rule book? Yeah, so first the object off, of the game. I want to read you the quote from the top of the rule book. Okay. It says, Stand by, international rescue. When human life is in danger and all else fails, we must be ready to respond with lightning speed. Worldwide disasters are happening at every turn, and the evil schemes of the hood must be defeated. To stay ahead, we will need intelligence, determination, teamwork, and technology in the shape of our incredible Thunderbird machines and pod vehicles. The rescues will be risky and stretch our logistics to the limit. At all times, remember the code of the International Rescue. Never give in at any cost. That's right. So that is the premise. Not the premise. That's not the premise. <laughs> that is the quote. A little bit of flavor text. Flavor text. So um, let's talk a little bit about the game setup. Sure. Before we get into it. So we have the hood track, which right. is along the top. You'll, you'll have to be the banner white here. Yep. We'll talk. Okay. We talked about the hood track here. So we have the scheme cards and the event cards. And they've been all shuffled and drawn randomly, and we don't know what's there. And then when we hit, when the hood hits each of these spaces, we turn them up. Correct. Okay. Um, and we actually have to defeat the scheme before he hits any of these. That's right. So we have to defeat scheme one before it gets to here. Yeah. And scheme two before he gets to there. Yeah. Otherwise we, we lose. 
Um, we did set this up on entry level mode because it has been quite a while since we've played the right. game. So we started with schemes one, two, and three. There's different variations to make the level I believe harder. there's three difficulty levels. Does that sound yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so then we've set up the disaster track, which is along the bottom. Right. So these are the three cards we start with at the bottom, which we will turn over shortly. Yep. Yeah. So um, we've set up the disaster deck as directed in the book, and we're going to flip those three cards over. We're doing it right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's take a look. So the first card is... Um, this one is called Desperate Intruder. It takes place in Africa. It is a sea rescue. And we get bonuses if we use Thunderbird 1 or Thunderbird 4 or both. So that's the first one. So where is so that disaster located? That's in Africa. So I'm going to put a disaster token in Africa. So that we know we got to deal with something there. Yep. The second disaster is called Target Tiger 1. Uh, this is a 9 difficulty. It takes place in the North Pacific. It is an air rescue. And we get bonuses if we have Alan. And if we have F8, or sorry, the car, which is uh, FAB1 in Asia. So that's that one. So I will put a token on North Pacific, mm -hmm. which is right here. Yep. And the third disaster card. Ooh, it's a space one. So... It's called Signal from Sigma. It is an eight difficulty. It takes place in the asteroid belt and you get a bonus if you have John and the transmitter truck if it's in South America. So we might have to build the transmitter truck. We might have to. So along the way, the Thunderbirds, um, they build these vehicles and we have these little vehicles out here they're like little helper vehicles that they use to yeah no, as tools no these are um these 3d vehicles are part of an expansion pack that came with this set that's right or came separately from the set right now you now in your base kit you'll get cardboard yeah. tokens these however are like little plastic uh models that came in an expansion set so they're pretty cool so we decided to use those just because they're prettier so yeah so here's an example of what one of the pod vehicles looks like. Yeah, so in the um, so in the in the base kit you will get this, which is the blueprint. That's the blueprint design, and then when you actually build it, it becomes the photograph version. Yeah. So, but in this one, it's on. Uh, oh yeah, the other one of the their scientist characters' name is Brains. So this is Brains' notepad. Mm -hmm. So these are all concepts on his notepad. We have to get tokens to. Um, to build them. Yep. Now how we do that is we have these tokens lined up at the bottom. A green gear icon token is what we use to build yep. um, a machine. Now the the yellow one, uh, can you consult the book, Joss? Yep. Let me know what is the yellow one the called? Yellow one lets oh, you there it is. Determination. You determine, it's determination. It lets you take an extra action. Right. And this pink one is called deter intelligence. It allows us to re-roll one die that we just rolled. Uh, over here, we have a plus two, which is called teamwork. It adds plus two to your dice roll. And this one is called logistics, and it allows you to draw an FAB card. Without advancing the hood. That's right, because normally, so we should talk about actions. We're going to go through that in yep. a minute. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do, we've basically got this ready to go, and it's all set up. You've got your, the three disasters. Three disasters anyway. are marked. Okay. So now we need to know what characters we're playing, Rob. Okay. So there are, as we talked about, five, right? Right. Five or six? Um, six. Six characters. There's the five brothers plus Penelope. Yeah. So six. So you may draw first. Okay. I will draw right pretty much from the center. Okay. Who'd Very cool. I got Alan Tracy. He is an astronaut, and it says, add plus two to space rescues when you roll. Which means I am Alan, which I am this orange guy. This is Alan. He's a little figure. And we put him in his little ship, which is called Thunderbird 3. Yep. Okay, I'm going to pull out this one. And I got John. Okay. So John Tracy is up here in geostationary orbit. Right. So this is John. Yep, so that's the little space station. So when, when someone's playing John, uh, this starts up here. Correct. Okay. 
in geostationary. Now that's a bit of an odd setup because yeah. we have our two, Mia and Jocelyn are the players, we are playing in space. So we start We're off in space. in space. So that's a bit weird. Yeah. We can transfer from vehicle to vehicle and what have you. So Correct. it'll be fun. So let's talk about the object of the game. Okay. So the object of the game is to defeat all three scheme cards on the hood track. Then we win. You must okay. defeat them before the hood activates by reaching the the skull and crossbones like we talked about. Yep. Or before any disaster card reaches the skull and crossbones at the bottom of the track. Right. So at the end of each turn, we have to resolve these disasters or else at the end of each turn they advance, yeah. correct? Yeah. So they that would advance was the a square. Card. Yep. Okay. So, in your action phase, when you're doing your turn over oh, sorry, your turn overview is you have your action phase, your disaster phase and your end of turn. Right. Okay. So, in your action phase, you may take up to 3 actions and do any number of operations. Right. So, actions include move, which means moving your thunderbird to its top speed. Rescue, roll the dice and add bonuses to try and avert a disaster. Plan, take one FAB card and advance the hood one space along the hood track. Mm -hmm. And scan, move one disaster card back one slot on the disaster track if you are on Thunderbird 5, which is... Right. Me. So you can only do that if yeah. you are on... Yeah, on that vehicle. On the space station. So... You may take the same action more than once on your turn, unless otherwise stated. Actions cannot be saved for future turns. If you decide only to do one action, right. that's it. Okay. Now you can do any number of operations. Operations include transferring characters from one Thunderbird machine to another. Right. Loading and unloading Thunderbird 4, Fab 1, or any pod vehicles in and out of Thunderbird 2. Right. So this is Thunderbird 2. This is the transport vehicle. And how they indicate that is the top will pop off. And you can carry little vehicles inside like that, and that's to get your your uh, machines around yeah. to perform your rescues. Uh, you can defeat schemes, and you can use bonus tokens. Right. Okay, so those are all the operations you can do. Then right. when you get to the disaster phase, you draw a disaster card, all the disasters move up on the track, mm -hmm. and then um, at the end you pass the dice to the next player. Okay. So the rules say that the person who most recently watched the Thunderbird TV show should play the first player. <laughs> but we're going to roll for it, right? We're going to roll. Okay. So go ahead and roll. Highest no highest number goes first. Correct. Okay. That's a seven. All right. That is only a five. So, right. Jocelyn, you get to go first. So I'm the first player. So what do we need to do? Okay. So first of all, you are John and you are in the space station. I am. Which means the only vehicle you have access to right now is Thunderbird 3, which is my vehicle, but yep. that's fine. You can come and pilot it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking we should take care of this uh, signal from space. I think so, because this is the first one that would get to the end first. Yeah. So we should resolve that one. So tell me about that one. What's the, what's the die roll we need? Okay, so the, the difficulty level on this is an 8. So we have an 8 here at the top, and... You, you are playing John, which means we're going to get plus one mm -hmm. if we do that. Yep. So you're going to need um, to roll a seven. Well, I get plus to get two that. to space rescues. Oh, very good. So that would mean I'd only need to roll a five. That's right. I also get plus two, but... Um, you're not the active player. I'm not the active player. So we are playing cooperatively, so obviously we're going to talk out our moves. Yeah. So what you could do is it's a free action to transfer John to Thunderbird 3, right? Mm -hmm. Now, oh, and vehicle speeds is the one thing we didn't talk about. So over here in the in the top left of the board, this tells you the speeds of the vehicles. So this vehicle, Thunderbird 3, can move three uh, s uh, spaces. Which would be enough to get us to the asteroid belt. Right, so, so that, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna tell you what I was planning to do on the turn. Yep. So my proposal would be that I come over here, which is an operation, which doesn't cost an doesn't action. Doesn't cost an action. Yep. Then we take an action to move over there. Yeah. And then we roll because we're going to get a plus three. Correct. Right? So I only need to roll a five. Right. That's an operation. Right? Okay. Yep. A resolving a disaster. Um, no, that's a rescue. I believe. Uh, is a disaster a rescue? Let's just double check. Yeah, I think so. I think the scheme is differently. Is different, right? Yeah, rescue is roll the dice and add bonuses to avert a disaster card. So, moving to here would be one action. 
Correct. Then I could roll, that which would, would be a second action. That's right. If I'm successful, then I could move back. That's right. If I'm unsuccessful, I could try and roll a second time, right. and then we would end the turn here. Right, Which in which case then it would be my turn. Yeah. And then I could try to resolve yeah. that action. So that, that rescue. So what do you how do you feel about that plan? I think that sounds good. I think we should do it. Okay. So I will take operation number one to transport John. Yep. And say, hey Alan, how's it going? Let's take the let's take the spaceship. Okay. So we're gonna go and take our first action. Yep. One, two, three. And I will put the card here so we can refer to it. So we have John, that's plus one. Mm -hmm. I get plus two to space rescue, so that's plus two on top of that, so plus three total. So I need a five. Correct. Now, if we roll a hood. Yes. If you yeah, if you roll a hood, then the hood advances on the hood track. So the dice are obviously six-sided dice, numbers yeah. one through five, and hood is on one of those sides. Yeah, which is the six side. Okay, we need a five, and that's only a four, okay. unfortunately. But fortunately, we do not have a hood. No. On on the dice. So, so I would like to take another action to try and resolve this. Sounds good. All right. And that's only a three. Okay. The dice are not with me today. No. So I have now taken three actions. Right. I don't have any other operations that I can do. Right. So unfortunately, we're going to have to move to disaster track. Okay. That is horrible. So that, so each card moves up one, right? Yeah. Okay, so we move up one. And then we draw a new one. Yep. So you okay. Can, you can draw for me because you're closer. Okay, so we drew another one, which is Operation Crash Dive. It's a nine difficulty. It takes place in the North Atlantic. Okay. It's a sea rescue. And we get bonuses if we have Thunderbird 1 and if Alan is on Thunderbird 5. Okay. So that goes there. All right. And now I pass the dice to you. Right. Okay. I'm also going to get a plus three. I'm going to try to rescue this, uh, do this rescue in the asteroid belt as okay. well. Because I'm Alan and Alan says plus two to space rescues when you roll. Okay. So... Um, and John is there. Oh no! Um, I have a special ability that I yeah. need to that I need to consider. So, Alan says once per turn, you may spend an action to draw a plus two token, if you are in Thunderbird three, which I am. So, what do you think, Jocelyn? Should I maybe spend an action? Yes. To get that plus two token. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what my first action will be to obtain a token. So now the next question is Do you have to apply it first? I don't I don't have to apply it. But if you choose to apply it, do you have to apply oh, it? Oh, do first? I have to apply it first? I can't remember. Well use after you roll the dice. Okay. There we go. So we don't have to declare it. That's right. Okay, so that's my first action. So action number two. <clears throat> action two is I'm going to try to resolve signal from Sigma, which is an eight. Yes. Yeah, so now you're... I have you, yeah. which is plus one. Because yep. I have John. And you get plus two to space rescues. Right. So you need a five. Here we go. And that didn't work either. No. So that is only a six. However, I could spend my token. Um, would that get you there? Yeah. yeah that'll get me there. Okay. Because that's three. We already have plus three. That's yep. six. Plus two will make it eight. Okay. Let's do it because I don't want to roll these dice anymore. No. Because we might get a hood. Yeah. Okay. We've been lucky not to get one so, so let's far. spend that token. And then token. you could get back to geostationary orbit. Right. So, so that, that disaster card gets discarded, and we get a prize. Right. So at the bottom it says, um, recover the Lambda-1 escape pod before Commander Nolan is lost in deep space. So we've, we've completed that. And because of this little icon here, we get to choose whatever we want from the, the token pile. So... What are we going to need to complete these disasters? Is there anything that we're going to need to get them done? We don't have any vehicles yet, so getting a green token would not be a priority. Okay. Sometimes the FAB cards give us bonuses. So Drawing an FAB card. Oh, right. If we drew um, if the logistics. logistics. You could get a logistics. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. Let's take a logistics token. That's That'll allow us to obtain an FAB card, right? Yeah, potentially. Okay. So that was action number two, right? Yeah. Now let me move back to geostationary orbit. Yep. Yeah. That's three three moves. And now, um, what's next? Should, next is a disaster. Should I, but should I, 
spend this token to get an FAB card. Oh, um, is that an operation? I think that's an operation. Or is it an action? Um, okay, I think it is an operation. Yeah, right? it says it right on the card. You, you can pull uh, a card at any time as an action. You will advance the hood, though. However, with this token, we can trade that token in and get an FAB card. So how about we do that? Okay. Just to see what we get. Okay, what do we got? We got help from Brahmin. Br yeah, Brahmin, I think that's what it is. Uh, the current player may take two additional actions this turn. Okay, so I can spend this whenever I want, right? That's right. Where's our discarded disaster? It's over here. Oh. So I could give you two extra actions whenever I want, right? Yep. I can play that at any time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll keep that handy. Okay. And then to complete my turn, we have to advance these. Yep. And we um, we draw another disaster. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so this one is Signal Overload. It takes place on Thunderbird 5. We're there now. So uh, spend an action to avert this disaster when John and three other characters are all in Thunderbird 5. So we need one more character. Yep. Okay. Now, there's one thing we did forget to do, Jocelyn. What's that? I think we have to reveal scheme number one um, as part of the game setup. Are we? I don't think we do that. Yeah, I believe we do. I'm going to double check. Okay. I think you're right. Yeah, we need to know what we're working towards, so we need to actually... We, we should have had that turned over, Yeah. but that's okay. So, what we have is the first scheme, which is called The Hidden Enemy, and it takes place in South America... And it requires two teamwork tokens. Teamwork? Oh, sorry, logistics. logistics. So that means we have to obtain two of those tokens. And we have to get somebody over to South America. One of us has to do the, that. The, the person, yeah. One of us has to do that. And then we have to uh, spend that, spend those two tokens. Yeah, because you can't trade tokens amongst players. Right. So as long as one of us gets there, if yeah. I have the two tokens, we can spend it, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's my turn. Okay, so then you pass the dice to me. Yep, dice go to you. That's the official transferring. Okay, so we need to get these tokens to South America. We also need to take care of this, because this is getting far too close to the end of the disaster right. track. So remind me what that one is, because I can't read it. Target Tiger 1, which is a 9 difficulty, takes place in the North Pacific, and it's an air rescue. Alan gives you plus 2. FAB1 gives you plus three if it's in Asia, which I think is going to be... It's probably going to be a tall order. Tall order. So... So we could... Let's just see. Let's see if I can work this out. So we could take the ship down to the, the South Pacific. Yes. That would be one. And then we could both transfer to... Where do we have to go? North Pacific? Right. To here. Um, so we could fly we could, there. That would be two actions. Yeah, we have to transfer to a different vehicle, though. Yep. Um, that's an operation. Yep. Yeah. And then, so that's one action. Come back to the North Pacific, which would be two actions, and then roll to try and get there. So I would have plus two if I bring you with me. Yes. So then I would need a seven. Correct. Well, the way the dice are rolling, it's probably not very good, but we should try it. Well, those dice got to warm up at some point. Okay. So action number one. Yep. Yeah. We come here. Mm -hmm. We say, hi, guys. Which vehicle should we take? Um, it's up to you. Um, this is faster. Thunderbird yeah. 1 is faster, the, the blue one. Thunderbird what, what 2. Com what's coming up after that? Because it looks like we have something that needs Thunderbird. Oh, yeah. We better take Thunderbird 1 because we get a plus 2 if we use Thunderbird 1. Okay, so let's take Thunderbird 1. So let's take, let's who's it. that, John? Um, that is Alan. Alan, okay. Yep. No, no. Sorry. That's Scott. Scott. I'm Alan That's and you're John. So we're going to put Scott over there. Yep into Thunderbird 2, and then I'm going to drive, because it's my turn. Yep. And I'm going to bring you along for the ride. That's an operation. Yep. Okay, and then for our next action, we'll come back here. Yep. And then we'll roll for the third action. So what did we decide we needed? Okay. We need a 7. So we need, um, yes, because we have Alan, the orange guy, plus 2. Target is 9. So yes, we need a seven. That's hey, a seven. look at that. Yay. So this disaster has Noice. been averted. Yes. It gets discarded. And what do we win? Okay, we win. We win the uh, yellow token, determination. 
and the pink suitcase, which is intelligence. Okay. So there you go. Perfect. Well done. Thank you. Did you get them? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I didn't get the suitcase. Okay, there you go. Okay. The suitcase lets us trade, right? Oh, re-roll. Re-roll okay. one die. Yep, which is good, because if we get a hood, yep. we can just roll it away. Okay, so let's get a disaster going. All right. The next disaster is... Oh, wait, we have to advance this. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I can't reach, so I have to get you to do that. Yep, I'm the disaster advance advancer. Okay, this is... Salt bed splashdown. It takes place in South America. Spend an action to avert this disaster anytime FAB1, Thunderbird 1, and Thunderbird 2 are all in South America. Wow, that's going to be tough. That is going to be tough. Okay, well, let's put a token in South America okay. to indicate the disaster. Oh, I think okay. we're missing one too. I think we're supposed to have one in. Oh, and Thunderbird 5, so we're supposed to oh, have that up that there. Okay. okay, so it's my turn. Your turn. So I think we need to take care of this uh, degenerate Three intruder. Desperate intruder? I can't read it. From <clears throat> okay, so that's in Africa. Um, here. And then this one is in North Atlantic. So that's not bad. That's over here. So yeah. we, could, we could do this. Yeah, so you could probably get here, resolve that action, and then move to the North Atlantic so that I yeah. can take the next one. Hey, that sounds good. Yeah. And also I have the card so I can do two additional actions, right? Oh, right. You could just do that. So this has a speed of three, yep. which means one, two. We're okay. already in Africa. That's one action. Yep. So I'm going to try to complete this. The, uh, the, the difficulty level is eight. We have Thunderbird one because we're in it. So I need a six. Yep. Okay. Here we go. That's only a four. So that's Take my other action. That's my second action. So I'll do my third action. Yeah. Need six. Oh no. That's only that. And the hood advances. Now, before we do that, yeah. are you allowed to spend your tokens? No, you can't. No. Okay. So the hood advances, and that's the end of my turn, unless I spend the card. Or should we save that? Spend the card. You want to spend it? Yeah. What if I roll the hood more? Well, if you roll the hood more, you roll the hood more. <laughs> but either way, one of us is going to roll, and we need to get these things going. We okay. Because you, if you don't resolve this action this turn, yeah. then it moves up and we're at five of them. So I will try to resolve that. Okay. And if it's successful, I'll use my second action to get us there. Yeah. Okay. So discard that. So we're going to spend that card to, to get myself two extra actions. Double hood. Oh, wow, we no. really blew that. Well, that One. goes here. This turns over. Okay, so let's take a look at this hood event card which says, Master of Disguise, players must collectively discard two bonus cards if they have them. Oh, sorry, two bonus tokens. Well. So we lost our tokens. We lost our tokens. Okay. Dang. Okay, so that was my first action. Go again. we got to get this out. Come on, we need six. There we go. There we go. Yay. So we resolved this one. Yeah. This one gets you get a wild, so you okay. probably should take the logistics. Yeah, we because need, we, we need, need to get one. that scheme taken care of. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. We advanced the hood that far. Disaster. So, let's okay. Let's advance our disaster track. We'll draw another card, which is the hood advances. That is bad. Okay. What is it? It is a. So this event comes up, the hood event, rocket malfunction. Thunderbird 3 has a top speed of 1 until a character in its space discards a gear token. Ouch. All right. Okay. Well, we really need to get the scheme taken care of. Yeah, we do. Okay, so it is your turn, and here are the dice. All right, so the good news is is that we're in the right machine. Yeah. I can get to the North Atlantic. Mm-hmm. Potentially so, res resolve this. Yep. And then get to South America. Yep. Except we won't have the tokens. Right. We could. Um, so there are indicators here that say you can travel from here to here. Mm -hmm. So that'll be your first action, correct? Yep. Okay. So there we go. We're in the North Atlantic. And we're going to attempt to, uh, to do this rescue. The difficulty is nine. And... Uh, Thunderbird 1 gives us a plus 2, so, so we need a 7. 7. All yeah. right. Action Alan only two. gives us a bonus if he's on Thunderbird 5, so that's not going to help us this turn. 
That's a six. Okay. So I'll take a third action. Okay. That is a six again. All right. Just a different six. Yep. Um, so I'm out of actions. Wow, that's tough. Okay. Um, why isn't there a disaster card there? Because it was a hood advances. Oh, okay. Yep. So let's. So it's the end of your turn, which means the disasters advance. Mm -hmm. And oops, I'm destroying the game board. And then we get a new disaster. Yeah. Okay. So this one is called the Imposters. It is in space. It's in geostationary orbit. It's a difficulty nine. Scott gives us a plus two, and FAB one gives us a plus three if it is in North America. Okay. So where is it? Uh, geostationary orbit, right there. Yeah. So is the hood in the right space then? Did we advance him enough times? Yep. Okay. Because he went um, once and then twice from di dice rolls and yep. then one from the card. So he's in the right spot. Okay. Okay, so it's my turn. Your turn. All right, well, I'm going to go for this Operation Crash Dive again. Yep. I need a seven. Yep. Or should I spend this for an FAB card? No. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get a straight seven. How about a hood? <laughs> Roll it again. You sure you don't want that FAB card? Yeah. There we go. We died. We died. I don't think we've ever died that quickly before. No, we never went that quickly before. That's the too bad. The dice were not with us today. No. Well, I guess we're going to have to set this up and do it again. I guess we are. Yep. So, well... Let's do game number two. I think we failed Jerry Anderson today. We have failed Jerry Anderson, so we got to give this another shake. So why don't we set up, and we'll do a second game. Yep. And viewers, go to go to the next video, and uh, you'll see our next game, which hopefully will be successful. Let's hope so. And let us know what you thought in the comments below. That was a very, very, very short game. Yeah, it was a something. It's not like well, thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. We're going to have another crack at this. We're coming back. Yeah, we're going to do another video. Game number two. Um, obviously, this was clearly the warm-up. Yeah. And uh, if you have not already, we'd love it if you'd hit like and subscribe on this video. That's correct. And you can check us out on Facebook and at Dice Station Zebra. And Twitter at DS underscore Zebra. And we will talk to you soon. All right. See you in a bit. Bye.